All right, I think he stopped working. Hi, good morning. I'm speaking very quietly because it's 4.15 in the morning, which is the only time that I can bake because otherwise there's just too many people here. And it's just not gonna work. And my hair looks um, beautiful. Uh, this is how I dry it so that it sticks up funny later. Cause I like my hair sticking up funny. Cause I'm a weirdo. Anyway, I wanted to bake some cookies. Some cookies! So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bake some pumpkin because we have so much pumpkin. Oh my gosh. We have like 25 pumpkins all in the front yard right now. Um, but we're gonna use pumpkin and chocolate chips and make pumpkin chocolate chip cookies and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so, all my coffee brews. Let's get started on these cookies. <laughs> um, come here. Look down. We're gonna use a KitchenAid. <laughs> my sister got a KitchenAid um, when she moved, my eldest sister, and she had this KitchenAid just sitting around. So she gave it to us, so it's super fun. I already have it set up. I even got the paddle in. I think of this as like the leaf, the leaf paddle. I'm not, I'm not sure um, what it's called, but I call it the leaf paddle. I'm so, I am so needing coffee right now. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's just start baking. What do I need? How long do I need it for? How long do I put it in for? 250. Sick. Um, and vegan butter. So I'm gonna do this recipe a little bit differently. It calls for a half a cup of uh, half a cup of vegan butter and that my dear friends looks like this this entire hunk of butter and personally this is disgusting all right so instead of using a whole half cup a whole stick of butter i'm going to cut it in half to a fourth and then use applesauce for the other fourth um if you want a cookie that's really moist i can't believe i just said that word <laughs> But there's no other word to describe it. And you want a cookie that's flatter and moister, use the whole stick of butter. But if you want cookies that aren't that, like, gooey, you can do the applesauce vegan butter trick. And what instead will happen, instead of the cookies, like, flattening out, they will just kind of stay, like, little round, little round little guys. And they're really, really cute. And quite honestly, I like them better with the apple cider. So here, we're gonna cut this bad boy in half. We're gonna stick it on the microwave because vegan butter is weird. It doesn't like fall apart like regular butter does when you try to like mix it in a mixer. So I'm gonna melt it first so that it mixes in better later. Tum -tum -tum. Tum -tums. Cook. Knife. Not the freezer, refrigerator. Unnecessary to put it in the freezer. <laughs> and while this butter is exploding in the microwave, we're gonna we measure way out. Measure out our applesauce. Explode! Okay, fourth a cup. Fourth a cup. Either it comes out super fast or like crazy dumb slow. It's never like right in the middle. Do I need this fourth cup again? I do not. That means I can just throw it in the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice and melted. Um, oh, it's been long enough. I can have my coffee. Oh, beautiful. Simply beautiful. I honestly don't know what I would do without coffee. I'd probably kill somebody. You know that question, that like rather, like would you rather question that goes, would you rather kill five people or six people? Honestly, I would pick six. Just saying. Okie dokie, we have our beautiful cup of coffee. <clears throat> what else do we need? Got butter and applesauce. Uh, white sugar. Wow, we need a half a cup of white sugar and then a half a cup of brown sugar. <laughs> it tastes really good. That was half a cup, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Oh, and then we need a fourth a cup. Third. We don't need a half a cup of brown sugar. We need a fourth a cup. 
Thank God. Now you might notice that as I cook, I put things away. I don't just leave them lying out like a giant mess, because I can't function that way. I just, I just can't function. I just, I just can't function that way. Mmm. Delicious. Um, what were we doing? Oh, <laughs> brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown cow. How now? Brown cow. Fresh package. Get kitties. Brown sugar, you have to press it down, which I think is pretty stupid, personally. This is not the right container. This is the right container. Ugh, just making messes. Brown sugar, triple cream and tomatoes. I'm feeling impatient. That's good enough. Ooh, gooey. Mm. All right, next. Mix it all together and then you add vanilla and then pumpkin. Why couldn't I have mixed that earlier? I don't know. Maybe because that's a dumb idea or something? I don't know. Is, is this the face that says that I don't know how to cook? Is this the face of a baker? No, it's not. How much pumpkin? Only one third cup. I can do that. No, 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 fake extract and um, you can never go wrong with adding more vanilla. Never go wrong. Oh, a little bit more than two. <laughs> Oops. All right. Mix. I love this thing. It's amazing. I, I just love it. It's fantastic. I'm impatient. There's like some chunks of pumpkin in here. I'm hoping that that will not be the case when I add the flour. Flour and stuff. Sorry, my stomach tried to escape through my throat right then. Okay. A separate bowl. A separate bowl. A separate bowl. A separate bowl. Get out of the way. In a separate bowl. And flour. 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 <gasps> flour. Flour. Use a cup and a half. I'm just gonna use this half table, half this thing instead of a cup measuring cup because this is already dirty. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Why isn't this closing? Cupboard. Stop being a dick, cupboard. Okay. Baking powder, baking soda, baking powder. I don't know the difference between them. Well, actually, I think I do. Like, one rises... Well, that's a fourth. That's a half. One rises while it's baking, and then one rises after it's baking. But I don't remember which one it is. Um, I think... Well, probably the baking powder makes it fluffy when it bakes. Because it's called baking powder. I don't know. I know nothing. I know nothing. So it needs a half? Well, it's a half now. Ooh, it's crunchy. That's always a good sign. Mmm, baking soda. Um, do I not add salt? Oh! Oh, there's no salt required here. Isn't that amazing? Okay, cinnamon and nothing. Oh, it does ask for salt. Where am I supposed to put the salt in? And salt. Oh, duh. Shimmin. Nick me. Short. Simple. 
whopping teaspoon. Number four, cinnamon. Give a round of applause for cinnamon as she enters the stage. Ugh. One fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. Welcome nutmeg to the stage, everybody. I like nutmeg. Let's add a little bit more than a fourth. And then fourth a thing of salt. Ooh, that's sounding really empty. Ooh, ah, awesome. And then we stir it together. I'm gonna use this paddle spatula so that I can use it to scrape the edges of the bowl. See, thinking. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm doing, I'm being. Oh, I'm being. I am being. Eh, looks the good looks mixed enough. And dry ingredients to put ingredients in with the spoon. Put that in that. Alright. Oh, it's not as mixed as, as I thought it was. Eh, that's fine. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing because I'm an idiot. Here you go. I'm adding stuff to other stuff. Can you still- okay, you can kind of see it. Just take my word for it, okay? This bowl is emptying out into a dish for That bowl's dirty now. My favorite part. Hey, okay. ooh, coffee cameo. Come, come here. Look down. I have too much fun with myself sometimes. Okay, now we lift. Now we scrape off. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. I love this specific attachment to this specific KitchenAid. The other ones are like this thing, a whisk, which I'll never use probably, and then a dough hook, which I'll use never properly because I don't bake bread. Up, oh, turn, out. Let me just kick the tripod while I'm, while I'm at it. Oh, holy fuck is it heavy. Um, sick. Now, a whole cup of chocolate chips. Look up. Thank you. You can use any type of vegan chocolate for this. However, at the grocery store, I found this organic, allergy-friendly, so like sweet chocolate chips, and they're vegan, and they don't have any soy, and they're made without fish, apparently, as the back says. I don't know of any chocolate that's made out of fish. But this certainly isn't it. We gonna add a cup of chocolate chips. I mean, come on. If you're if you're making this recipe, it's already vegan. Like the dough's vegan. You might as well, you know, use the correct chocolate chips too. This looks clean enough. That's what we use the flour for. One. Oh no, man down. Ah, oh, man down. Oh. Oh no. Man down. Next, we stir the chocolate chips in. Look at that. Look at those yummy chocolate chips. I'm just gonna stir them in. This is why we used a spatula like this. This makes it so much easier to get all of everything all together. Now the recipe says that this should make 20 servings. I'll be the judge of that. Perfect. Mm. All right, baking sheet, parchment paper. Make sure that you don't use plastic cling wrap because that's a disaster that you don't want to make. As someone who's made that disaster, you don't want to make that disaster. Mm, perfect. No! Don't be that way. Stay down. And you just use a spoon and you plop it down. That's a big spoonful. It's... Yeah, and you just do this like a billion times. Oh, that one's not very round. That's fine. That's fine. He can, he can be a little blob. You know, we don't judge here. Get off my thingy!
My finger's all dirty now. You need to move back so that I can put these in the thing. These. In the thing. Phone. Phone. You're going to cook these for 12 minutes. Sick. Okay, what to do now? What do we do now as we wait? Hey, 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 up here. Up here, my face is up here. Thank you. What do we do now? We drink some coffee. We should have the first batch done by 5 a.m. Isn't that gross? Oh, it's so gross. This has gotten cold, which is even grosser. There, we can cut off the top of my head. That's fine. That's fine. You don't need to, you don't need to witness this. It's actually quite funny because my hair is coming back in like the blondy brown, but I still have bits of black in it. So it kind of looks sort of like tortoise shelly, like a cat. And I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I might have to just re-dye parts of it. So when it gets long, I can, mm. And the back of my head is soft. You didn't need to know that. What do you think we could talk about for the next eight minutes and 30 seconds? Hmm. I finished a new drawing. I can put a really bad picture up right here. Bad picture. Bad picture. I hung it outside of my studio because I don't know. Well, no, I do know. It's because I wanted to see. I, ow. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I hung them outside of my studio space because uh, here's the other one that's hanging by it. Um, I hung them up because I wanted to see how people would react. Because I'm just curious like that. I'm a curious kitty cat, you know? I want to see what happens. What people think. I'm almost done with my coffee. That's a sad day. Oh, this glass is filthy. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't look at, don't look at it. It's disgusting. Don't look. Um, just, just, all right, just don't. Don't look at that. Yeah, I wanted to see how people would react to it because it's definitely something new. Um, it's interesting. And I want to make more stuff inside of that vein. Like anatomy meets nature type of thing. In a, 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 I'm so awkward on camera. I can't think of anything funny to say today. I'm not, I'm not a funny person. Mmm. Yeah. I'll do a taste test of these cookies at the very end if you guys want. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want that? Can you like type in if you want to see me do that or not like right now and I'll read the comments and then do it right away. What, what, what do you think? Could we, could we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> I guess another really cool thing is that my vertical breath is doing very well. The long bar in it is now too long because, oh my gosh, hold on. Ah, the long bar in it is now too long because my lip is no longer swelling. But I plan to keep it in for um, like another seven or eight weeks just to like be super sure. And sorry about picking my nose ring then. I was not picking my nose. My nose ring was, my no nose ring, my nose stud was being weird. Um, They're shaped like, here's the stud and then they go like this. So they stud, go down, curl, and then come back. And sometimes the little back part, this end, um, like flicks upward and then it tickles my nose and then I have to fix it. Otherwise I sneeze a lot. I don't like sneezing right now. I don't like sneezing in general. I sneeze. I'm a very sneezy person. I just sneeze a lot. Um, especially when I go outside. I wonder if I have that, um, thing where if you look at the sun, you have to sneeze. Like, I wonder if that's something that I have. I don't know. Oh my gosh. How much longer do we have? Three minutes and 50 seconds. Ugh. How am I gonna fill up three, three minutes and 50 seconds? 41 seconds. I could just, 38, uh, 30, 35, wait, 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 33, 30, 32, 31. <laughs> I could do that, that'd be not annoying whatsoever. Mm. I look really nasty, like my, my nose is sunburned, my forehead is sunburned, and I just look like super nasty. So don't, don't, don't look at me. Just, just don't look at me. What is this supposed to be? Oh, you know, just appliance plugs just falling out of the wall. It's fine. It's not dangerous at all. These cookies are starting to smell good. Are they looking good? Hello? Hello? Ooh. They look 
puffy. Oh, I should get, I should, I should get a container to put these in. Uno momento, por favor. I wonder if I can fit this bowl. This one. I wonder if I could fit that in the... What's the word for it? Dishwasher. I wonder if this could fit in the dishwasher. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I know what words are. Bum bye! <clears throat> so just switching to my phone camera really quick because the cat the, the battery on my camera was starting to like blink a little bit, so we had to move on to this format. And the cookies are just done. And it is 5 a.m. like I thought it was gonna be. Let's take a look at them. Ooh. -er. Ooh. Yeah, they look great. They look great. Are they done on the bottom? Ow. I don't know what I was expecting. That hurt. <laughs> okay. Ow. Can you just can you just Day. Thank you. Lift up one of these buggers. Ow! <laughs> you done on the bottom? Awesome. They are done on the bottom. Bottom mellow. Turn this stupid fat red yellow. Ow! Dum, 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 dum. Oh. <gasps> okay. So, oh, don't look at my nose. Um, don't, just don't, just don't look at me. All right, just, just don't look at me. So what we're gonna do is we are going to wait for these to cool for a little bit and then we're gonna put them inside of a container, that one. And I'm going to scoop out the next batch and put them in another container that's next to that one. And then I'll be done. And I don't have to worry about these anymore, which is good because I'm at that stage where I'm over it and I just don't care about them anymore. That's my problem with baking is that I get to a point where I'm just over it and it's like, no, I don't care anymore, and then I pass it off on to other people to finish. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna transfer these over, cook the next batch, you won't see me doing that because that's a long time. I'll pop back in at the end of it all and show you what mess I've come up with. So yeah, I will see you in a bit. Awesome! The cookies are done. Let me show you really fast. Yeah. And they fit perfectly. Let's let's try one. Let's try one of these bad boys. I choose you, sir. It's just a little guy. Mmm, <laughs> so delicious. It feels like there's like more chocolate chips in this batch than there were the last two times that I made them. But I used the exact same amount of ingredients and the exact same amount of like chocolate chips. So they're just really chocolate chippy. I'm trying to not get the chocolate on my the bread there and chewing on camera. Anyway, so. I just really that. So yeah, um, I can see the cars going, going in the background. It is almost six o'clock now, so that makes sense. At ten o'clock when Michael's opens, I plan to go and scoot over. Thank you. Gosh, so rude. I plan to drive over to Michael's around 10.15ish. They're having a ginormous sale on frames. I was able to get a frame yesterday that was 24 by 18, and usually they are $33, and I got it for $9.90 yesterday. So I plan to go back there and get like four more of those frames because like, yeah. <laughs> why, why wouldn't I? Yeah. Um, it's kind of a gamble though because I don't know if my anatomy nature thing is gonna work out. I suppose like th that's kind of like what I'm rooted in right now is this is this idea. So I don't really want to stray off and do something else but I suppose I could do something else with the frames if the feedback I get on this coming Friday is negative concerning my pieces that are outside of my studio. Also, ugly head headband is back to push back my ugly hair. It's not doing what it usually does. Um, usually it like sticks up funny and it's it's great and I love it, but for some reason it's uh, very flat. I don't know why. And I don't really want to use product because then I feel like I have to take a shower every night before I go to bed and I really don't want to do that. I take a shower like every three days, to be honest. And I think that that's a lot healthier for my hair to only do that. That or I'm just very lazy. <laughs> Which is also true. Uh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. No, I'm ready on. Oh, ready on. No, I yawn instead. Anyways, so I think these cookies came out positively. I'm kind of upset with myself that my breakfast is gonna be a cookie, but you know, I wanted to try it on camera for you guys. So there you go. They are amazing. Once again, if you want them to be not so like puffy, but like flat and gooeyish, just use the whole stick of butter cut out the applesauce altogether. I just don't like using that much oil. It just feels really nasty. 
I'm actually thinking next batch, if I do another batch after this in a little while, I will use just applesauce instead of butter entirely because there's just a lot of oil. It's just not, I mean like, there's a lot of sugar in here too, so obviously they're not healthy by any means, but um, having less oil in them is always a good thing, in my opinion. Anyway, I am going to say goodbye here. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me, making cookies, and I will see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.